Hello Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star. So Scorpio, this is your reading for the month of April 2021 and this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay. Also, I would request you to hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. Scorpio, I would request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos, right? So this is a new series as to who is coming towards you, Scorpio, okay, during the month of April. And I'm going to cover uh, topics like what is the current energy of the person who is coming towards you? What are their behavioral attributes? What are their physical attributes? What is the likely advice with this oracle cards? And then I'm introducing something new that is the pendulum. I'm going to use the pendulum, okay? And then we'll see that the relationship that is going to happen with this person who is coming towards you, whether it will be long term, short term, medium term, whether it will be uh, emotional, physical, spiritual, mental, right? So we will see what the pendulum will tell us. But this is what I'm going to do at the end. Right. So let's see <coughs> what the cards are trying to tell us about this person. Huh. So who is coming towards Scorpio? Who is coming towards Scorpio? Please tell me about who is coming towards Scorpio. Who is coming towards Scorpio? Cards are jumping out, Scorpio. What is going on? Ooh, why the cards are jumping out? So I'm going to pull out six cards for the current energy. So we have King of Pentacles, the Moon, Ace of Cups, and then the King of Cups, the Hermit, Nine of Wands. Wow. So right off the bat, I'm getting that there are two people who are coming towards you, Scorpio. The old one and the new one. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about the zodiac signs first. So you, so this person coming towards you may be a Cancer, maybe a Virgo, maybe Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. Let's not remain fixed on the signs though. Okay, but I'm getting a strong energy of a Cancer and a Virgo. Okay, right. Huh. So let's talk about the past person first and then I'll talk about the new person who is coming towards you. So this past person, they have developed a lot of feelings for you. Or probably not developed, I'll say. I'll say that they have realized a lot of feelings for you, that they have a lot of feelings for you during this period of separation. This person is thinking incessantly about you okay this person is trying to take an entire perspective about what this connection is what uh, how much this connection and how much you hold importance in their life and why they are missing you so much and they are on the brink of taking some major decisions in their life okay decisions can be anything to come towards you but also if they ha will have to sacrifice something or someone before they can come towards you Okay, so they are they are uh, they are they are standing at a crossroad right now. Okay, so it can be about coming towards you, deciding to come towards you, or going back to whosoever they have already in their life. But I don't think so. They are being pulled towards you literally. This person is literally being pulled and pushed towards you. Okay, this person is like every single day. Every single day, this person keeps on thinking about you, and this person. They definitely had a lot of love even when you people are, were together but this person never expressed what they felt for you. 
okay because they were not very sure at that point of time like <clears throat> what they were feeling for you okay so they were probably uh, getting confused whether it's it's a real, whether it is a real love or whether it is just an infatuation okay and at that point of time probably they may also have had other options in their kitty so they couldn't focus on you at that point of time and I, they couldn't focus on this connection okay but now that you people are separated the universe is kind of forcing them to rethink about the entire situation to rethink about you and this connection right so this person has is definitely missing you this person is uh, thinking about you a lot this person wants you back they want to start a new cycle with you they are definitely want to start a new cycle with you they see a long-term future with you okay and there is a lot of regret there is a lot of regret as to you people are in separation right now there is a lot of regret that uh, you people had to separate because of this person's mistakes right so yeah so this was the energy of your past person as far as the new person who is coming towards you okay this person is someone who is who is watching you since a very long time and you are unaware about it but this person is watching you they are literally like studying you Scorpio this person is someone who is well to do <clears throat> with their money okay they they are very loyal but they have a they have a history they have a history I think so they may be having a history of alcohol addiction they may be having a his, uh, some sort of an addiction or some behavioral issues probably in the past but now they are no more in that phase of having that addiction or some behavioral issues they have overcome that uh, those issues uh, surely because of their strong determination and their will okay this person is someone who values money who values loyalty and who values uh, things like integrity morality loyalty and uh, love and care a lot over and above you know temporary pleasures <clears throat> this person has gone through a lot and they know what all they had to sacrifice because of the temporary pleasures they were trying to seek uh, in the past and that is why they know what is the uh, importance of real love they know what is the importance of true love what is the importance of commitment and loyalty and uh, and all these things right so this person is uh, like really hooked onto you this new person I feel that this new person will be a combination of uh, earth and water okay maybe a Capricorn and a Cancer combination and the old person may be uh, water and earth only but I feel that a strong presence of water okay yeah water earth and fire past person uh, so the new person is waiting for the right time to appear in your life or if you have already met this person this person is waiting for the right time to you know to discuss the situation with you to take this relationship to a next level okay this person is watching you like a hawk let me tell you that this person is studying you like anything and they are really in love with you they they love you they adore you they admire you they keep on telling uh, telling people about you behind your back and they really talk very nicely they're like look at look at Scorpio look at Scorpio the way they they do things the way they handle things the way they are taking care of everything the way they are trying to balance everything okay so they really like everything about you and they are they are sincerely thinking to take this relationship to a next level for some of you it may be a long-term commitment for some of you it may be a marriage okay but definitely a new life cycle a love cycle is starting in your life so let's see what are the behavioral attributes of this person we have justice I told you this person likes stability the wheel and lovers <coughs> yeah this person has a lot of high values in their life okay so things like 
uh, things like justice, being fair, things like love, care, and uh, integrity and morality and loyalty, they have a very strong, uh, you know, uh, they assign a lot of value to all these attributes. Okay, so temporary pleasures is what they are never in for that because they have learned a lot through temp uh, through the mistakes they have committed in the past so that is why they are definitely looking for something that is long term so something that is quite stable right they they become restless if their things are not fair they become restless if things are not just okay so they will they will make some out of the box efforts to make things uh and whatever the situation uh, <clears throat> situation become fair right I also feel that this person is someone who works a ha who works hard a lot okay and this person is someone maybe this person is quite workaholic and this person has a lot of responsibilities they may be having uh, they may be running big businesses they may be having uh, you know uh, they have multiple sources of income so this person is somewhat always busy okay but in between their busy schedules also they make sure that uh, they think about you and they come towards you at the right time or talk to you at the right time this person is someone who values money as well a lot this person has come uh, this person is having a racks to riches story so they know the value of money and they spend their money very cautiously Sorry, I had to sip some water. My throat was drying up. <clears throat> right. With that lover's card, I feel that this person has a tendency to fall in love quite quickly. But uh, the judgment never goes wrong. Even if they fall in love quickly, the judgment never goes wrong. In the past, yes, couple of the relationships may have turned out to be sore. But this person is also a quick learner. Okay, they learn from their mistakes quite fast and <clears throat> I believe this, this new person who is coming towards you, this person may be slightly older uh, than you. There may be an age gap between you and this person, right? So let's see what are the physical attributes. We have Seven of Cups, the Queen of Wands, <clears throat> Ace of Wands, Two of Swords. Empress, Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Some of you, this person may be already married but divorced, or uh, this person was in a long term commitment but they are no more in a long term commitment. Okay. Uh, this person is someone who has big eyes, big and wide eyes. Okay, this person is someone who has short nose, but a very prominent looking nose. Okay, and broader lips, and they have a very good and uh, satisfying smile. Okay, they have those broad and fuller lips. If it's a female, she has very beautiful fuller lips. Uh, maybe even uh, somewhat like Angelina Jolie. Okay. Uh, their eye, their eyes are big and very piercing. Uh, you know, big and uh, they have those intense piercing eyes. Okay, when they look, they look very intensely. So it's like they give an hypnotizing look. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> skin color, I see it's more on the fair side. Especially if it's a female, if, if it's a male, it can be brown, it can be uh, whitish, okay? If I have to talk about the height, this person has a good height somewhere between uh, 5'8 to 6 plus, anywhere between 5'8 to 6 plus. Even if it's a female, she also has a good height between 5'7 to maybe 5'6 to 5'10 or something like that. Uh... A female, she likes to wear abdu. As far as hair is concerned, she likes to wear abdu. Or she has a free-flowing uh, wavy hair. And she likes to... Her length of the hair is somewhere up 
you know shoulder length hair if it's a male then they have short hair they may be having a salt and pepper look okay some of they have colored their hair blonde they may be having uh, very few of you they have uh, hair till their you know hair till the neckline and then they tie a pony okay they also like to wear hats and some accessories males as well okay accessories in their hands watches or some bracelets or something like that okay this person loves collection of shoes and they have variety of dresses in their wardrobe their wardrobe is full of you know variety of dresses they like wearing casual they like wearing formal they like all sorts of dressing it's not like you know i they like only casual or they like only formal no it depends upon the occasion and they like to flaunt that they have a very good dressing sense they like to flaunt their dressing sense uh this person i don't see a very muscular or a heavy body but this lo this person looks very fit and fine okay they may be very cautious about their body and they may be very uh not cautious very conscious about their body uh the way it looks and all so they uh they make sure that uh, the weight management is done nicely and uh, they may be hitting gym or they may be going for long walks or runs e early morning every day okay some of them they have tattoos on their bodies okay age maybe if it's a new person i definitely sense there is an age gap so maybe a 40 plus person or even some someone by 50 51 if it's the past person then this person may be anywhere between 25 to 35 right and uh, right this person is a bit adventurous okay they they love adventure sports this person loves uh, someone likes horse riding over here okay they they love horse riding uh or they may be going to they may they may wa love watching horse races okay there is a love for pets i see there is a love for dogs and cats okay dressing sense is something so, uh, females they like to wear uh jeans or they like to wear uh uh they they may like to wear sleeveless tops if it's a male yeah they they like i told you right they like formal and as well as casual money looks very good for this person okay the whoever this person is money wise this person is very good they absolutely have no issue with respect to the money for some of you this person may have never got married in their entire life and you are the first one they may have had long term relationships in the past but you are the first you are going to be the first one whom with whom they are going to marry okay all right so let's see what is the likely uh, or what is the advice regarding this connection 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 fourth chakra archangel raphael you need to open up your heart space you need to open up your heart space you need to work on your throat chakra i believe communication is a problem over here things are not getting expressed to what needs to be expressed okay right so let's take our pendulum and let's see what type of relationship will this will be medium term short term emotional mental physical medium term short term or long term emotional mental physical and spiritual what type of what type of a relationship this will be what type of a relationship this will be what type of a relationship this will be okay so i will see where this pendulum is hovering more okay and that's how i will decide so it is hovering more on medium and long term 
okay so this relationship will be a medium to long term relationship and this will be more of a uh, spiritual uh, spiritual relationship okay i believe that this is something that is quite fated okay universe wants both of you to come together all right so fated because we have 10 of pentacles so i see marriage for some of you this is a fated connection okay this person may be your soulmate so no wonder there is a spiritual attribute to this relationship okay i hope this resonates scorpio please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye